breaking news for you now out of Washington, D.C. Yeah, the Supreme Court just announced its ruling on student loan forgiveness. Ron has the latest, so uh, Ron, this is going to send some shockwaves through a lot of people, I bet. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, the decision uh, is down in this case, and the Supreme Court rules against the president and his idea of wiping out as much as $20,000 per person on student loans. So a sharply divided court ruled that it was an overstep of authority for the president to try to uh, cancel those student loans or at least reduce them. The vote was six to three and it effectively killed the plan which was estimated to cost some $400 billion. The court held that the uh, administration of the White House need Congress approval before undertaking a program so costly. So student loan payments were already set to resume in October. They were paused for the COVID emergency, but you might remember the government did uh, decide a few months back that officially the COVID emergency was over. So now it is certain that the payments will resume. Did a little digging. Uh, the average student loan payment is running about $500 a month. So students who took out loans are going to have to repay them in full. It will also, from a political standpoint, allow the president to use this as a campaign issue. And in effect, he can say, I tried and the court would not allow uh, me to do so. So put me in office for four more years uh, and I'll try to perhaps uh, change the makeup of the court, which many people view as being one of the most conservative courts.